हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जिम्स ऑफ नॉलेज सो आई एम हेयर विद द पार्ट टू ऑफ द मॉडल पेपर ऑफ क्लास एट ओके सो पार्ट वन इज बिन ऑलरेडी रिलीज विच इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन द क्वेश्चन इज राइट एनी टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रोमबस सो आई हैव रिटन फोर प्रॉपर्टीज यू कैन मैंशन एनी टू अमॉन्ग दस ओके सो इन द रोमबस वी ऑल नो दैट ऑल साइड्स विल बी इक्वल अपोजिट साइड्स विल बी पैरल ओके अपोजिट साइड्स विल बी पैरल टू इच अदर अपोजिट एंगल्स आर इक्वल टू इच अदर एंड द डाइगनल्स ऑफ द रोमबस आर बाइसेक्टिंग इच अदर एट राइट एंगल्स सो द डाइगनल्स विच आर बाइसेक्टिंग इच अदर विल बी एट राइट एंगल सो आई होप यू पीपल हैव सीन द रोमबस द रोमबस विल बी इन दिस शेप सिमिलर टू स्क्वायर बट इन द शेप ऑफ द डायमंड ओके एंड दिस आर द डाइगनल्स ऑफ द रोमबस so they intersect each other at right angle as you can see this is the right angle and the opposite angles will be equal this angle will be equal to this angle similarly this upper angle will be equals to the lower angle and opposite sides will be parallel you can see this sides as well as this sides are parallel to each other okay so these are all the properties of rhombus you can mention any two among this okay so our question is given name the point of intersection of vertical axis and horizontal axis in cartesian plane so you all know cartesian plane is nothing but the uh, graphical part okay we have to mention name the point of intersection of the vertical axis as well as the horizontal axis okay so vertical axis is nothing but the straight line and the horizontal axis is the sleeping line okay so the point of intersection of that both is nothing but the origin that is zero point okay so origin and the question is given also write the coordinates of it so you have to mention what will be the x coordinate there and what will be the y coordinate so coordinates you have to write in this way this is x and this is y point so x point is zero as well as the y point will be zero so the coordinate of origins are zero comma zero okay next question construct a square of size six centimeter so basically one line i have put put on here which is 6 cm this is ab measurement and it is at 6 cm so now we have to construct a square of this 6 cm so let us keep anywhere you can keep either on the point a or on the point b so i have kept here and let us mark a 90 degree why we have to mark a 90 degree because you all know that the square will be having all the angles equal to 90 degree okay so this is the protector and i will mark here okay and let us draw one line here okay i have already drawn a line so now what we have to do here is we need to take the 6 cm because they have given us we need to construct a square of size 6 cm so let us take the measurement of 6 cm as you can see as you can see here this is 6 cm measurement okay you can see this is 6 cm measurement you have to keep on this point and you need to cut an arc okay then you have got one more point here this point is named as c okay already you are having ab now you got c point now we have to find out the d point with the same measurement of 6 cm what we will do we will keep on here and we will cut an arc here as well as from this point okay 6 cm from here and okay now you have to join this point with this as well as this point with this let us join okay as you can see i have joined both the points and your square is ready okay let us move on to the next question okay so the next question here is given locate and join the points a comma a of 1 comma 1 b of 1 comma 3 c of 3 comma 3 and d of 3 comma 1 on the graph sheet provided okay so let me get ready with the graph sheet first okay so i have already taken the graph sheet and you can see this is a zero point and this is x axis which contains all the positive numbers and this is y axis which contains all the positive numbers okay now we need to check with the points so the points given are here itself you can see the points a comma a of 1 comma 1 okay so we need to put the points we need to plot the points here so that we join 1 comma 1 1 from x axis and 1 from y axis so it will meet at this point then the second point is 1 comma 3 as you can see it is 1 comma 3 so 1 will be from x axis and 3 will be from y axis okay this is y axis so this is x axis so on x axis it is 1 on y axis it will be 3 similarly c point you can see 3 comma 3 is given so on 3 3 and 3 so this is the point okay and last d point is given 3 comma 1 so 3 on x axis and 1 on y axis 
ओके सो दे हैव टोल्ड अस लोकेट एंड जॉइन द पॉइंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ वी गॉट अ स्क्वायर वी हैव जॉइन दिस पॉइंट्स एंड दिस पॉइंट आर नथिंग बट इट इज फॉर्मिंग अ स्क्वायर ओवर योर ओके सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर ओके नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू द ट्वेंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन इफ फोर इज एडेड टू ए टाइम्स अ नंबर सो द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन ए टाइम्स अ नंबर वी डोंट नो वॉट इज दैट नंबर सो लेट इज टेक एट लेट इज टेक इट एज ए टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स ए टाइम्स अ नंबर मीन्स ए टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स एंड इन दैट फोर इज बीन एडेड सो फोर इज एडेड टू ए टाइम्स ऑफ अ नंबर विच इज इक्वल्स टू वी गेट सिक्सटी सो वी आर गेटिंग इट टू बी एज सिक्सटी सो फाइंड द नंबर वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस नंबर सो वट वी विल डू वी विल टेक दिस प्लस फोर टू दिस साइड इट विल बिकम माइनस फोर सिक्सटी माइनस फोर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स टिल देन एट एक्स विल बी एज इट इज एंड इफ यू Take this eight to this side. It will become fifty six by eight. So eight ones are eight. Eight sevens are fifty six. We are going to get so x will be equals to seven. So the number x is equals to seven. Next question here. If the weight of twelve sheets of the thick paper is forty grams, okay. Now twelve sheets paper weight is forty grams. How many sheets of the same paper would weigh two and half kilograms? So here they have given in the grams, and here the question is asked in kilograms. We need to find out in kilograms. So we know that one kg is equals to thousand grams. So two point five, two and a half means it is two point five kg, which is equals to two thousand five hundred grams. Okay, so it will be two thousand and five hundred grams. So let us write number of sheet is twelve. Okay, for twelve sheets, it was weight was forty. So we don't know how many sheets will weigh two thousand five hundred grams. So what we need to do, we need to cross multiply. Okay, so cross multiply in the sense here we have taken twelve by forty, and which is equals to x by two thousand five hundred. So this zero and this zero is cancelled. Now we all know that. Let us uh, cross multiply two fifty into twelve divided by this four. Okay, so that will be equals to x. So we know that we will cancel this. So four ones are four and four threes are twelve. So twenty five into three is nothing but seventy five, and the zero will be as it is if you directly multiply this. So after multiplication, you are going to get seven fifty sheets. Okay. So next one, the base of swimming pool in in front of girl's house in. Is in quadrilateral shape. Okay, now the swimming pool which was in front of a one girl's house, it is in the shape of quadrilateral. If sixty degree, one twenty degree, seventy degree are the measures of angles of this quadrilateral. Okay, so let us take an example of that quadrilateral. It to be as like this. Okay, quadrilateral is nothing but the four sided figure. If this is sixty degree and this is seventy degree, so this is an example. Okay, and this is one twenty degree. Then what is the measure of this angle? We have to find out. Okay. So we all know that sum of all the angles of the quadrilateral will be equals to three sixty degree. So all the three angles we wrote plus this angle we don't know. We will keep it as x, which is equals to three sixty degree. So if we add all these angles, we are going to get two fifty degree plus x is equals to three sixty degree. Now if we move this two fifty to this side, it will become three sixty minus two fifty, which is equals to hundred and ten degree. Next question: Verify Euler's formula for the given. For the solid given below, so this is the solid which is given below, and we have to uh, identify the Euler's formula. So we all know that Euler's formula is f plus v is equals to e plus two, where f is faces, v is vertices, e is edges, and plus two. Okay. So as you know that these are the faces. Okay. So how many faces are there? One, two, three, fourth, and fifth. Okay. Five faces are there here. Okay. Then vertices. How many vertices are here? Then you can see this is one, two. Three, four, and five vertices are there. Okay, then E is equals to eight. E means edges. So let us count the edges: one, two, three, four. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Eight edges are here. Okay, so according to the formula, F plus V is five plus five, and E plus two is eight plus two. So both are equals to ten, ten. So we can say that this here the Euler formula is verified. Okay, then moving to the next question. One find any two rational numbers between one by four and five by three. So two options are given here. In between these two rational numbers, we have to find few more rational numbers. Okay. So what we will do is we will multiply the denominators of each number to each other. Multiply as well as divide. Okay. So as you can see here, one by four is given. I have multiplied this 
denominated to this number multiplied as well as divided that is 3 by 3 so if you multiply here we are going to get 1 3 is a 3 and 4 3 is a 12 okay and this side we will multiply with this okay 5 by 3 is given we will multiply by 4 so 5 4 is a 20 and 3 4 is a 12 why we need to do this because actually what we need to do here is we need to uh, equal uh, we need to equate the denominators so that some numbers is left between in this okay just you can see this is 3 by 12 and 20 by 12 so there are lots of number left between 3 by 12 and 20 by 12 that is 4 by 12 5 by 12 6 by 12 7 by 12 up to 19 by 12 so we can mention any of the two rational numbers which are between this two rational numbers okay so just because of that thing what we have done we have cross multiplied it means just the denominator of this number we have multiplied and divided by this number and the denominator of this number we have multiplied and divided here so the next question you can see over here on Sunday, 845 people went to zoo. So, they have given on Sunday, 845 people went to zoo. And on Monday, only 169 people went. Okay. So, what is the percentage decrease in people visiting the zoo on Monday? So, what was the decrease in percentage in people visiting the zoo on Monday? So, the number of people visited zoo on Sunday was 845. And on Monday, it was 169. So, there are two methods to solve this problem. Let me show you the method one. What, what we have did here, we have subtracted 845 minus 169 so if we do minus here if we, if we subtract here what we are going to get 676 we are going to get so decrease in percentage how we can find out 676 divided by 845 so the actual uh, persons how many of them went on sunday we have to divide with this and to find the percentage we have to multiply it by 100 okay so directly i have divided here as you can see this is 5 ones are 5. Okay. What will be remaining? 5 ones are 5. 3 will be remaining here. Okay. Then 5, three, uh, five 6 are 30. And 4 will be remaining. And 5 nines are 45. So we got 169. And if we divide this, we are going to get 5 twos are 10 and 0. Okay. Then again, this is 13 ones are 13. And 13 threes are 39. 13 ones are 13 means we are left with 3 here. So 13 threes are 39. We are getting. Okay. Similarly, 13 fives are 65 and here 2 will be remaining 13 twos are 26 okay then 13 ones are 13 13 fours are 52 so 4 into 20 we got 80 percent this is the method one so similarly you can see the method two over here method two what i have did is i have divided this number that is 169 directly with 830 45 into 100 okay so here also the same method Okay, first method is same. The um, 5 ones are 5 and 3. 5 6 are 30 and 4 will be remaining. 5 9 are 45. Similarly, 5 2 are 10 and 0. Then 169 and 169 is cancelled. Directly, we are remaining with 20%. Okay, so 20% decrease in percentage 20%. So 100% minus 20% is equals to 80%. So either you subtract it first and then cancel out or you cancel out first and then subtract. One and the same, you are going to get 80% as your answer okay so i hope you have understood with this five questions okay so in my next video i will be showing you the next five questions so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you